What is going on guys, my name is Mehul and welcome to a 22nd Node.js tutorial in which I'm going to show you how to install and set up something known as a node mall. Well, we should have covered this tutorial in I guess about 7th or 8th one but you know I just didn't get eventually to this part of node. So here we are, well better late than never. So to set this up, what I want you guys to do is just go to your terminal and write npm install nodemon mon and just save it. All right. So holy crap! So we have a whole lot of error here. Well, this is a permission denied error. So I guess might be running with sudo sudo npm install nodemon save All right So it seems like it worked with sudo well just try with it without sudo first if it didn't work for you as well but I don't just don't know why it didn't work well, uh, okay, so yeah, so we were talking about this node mon. Well, what this was do is that let's just say you have written a big node script and you know you're just working on a project which requires node and you're just doing an edit, you're making edit to your code every single second. So you're just updating your code, going to a browser, reloading, but heck, you remember that you didn't restart the server. Remember that whenever you make change to your node main code then you have to restart the server to get the changes applied and all that stuff well what this node mon would do is that it would come to rescue well it would just watch over all of your files of which requires the server to be restarted once they are edited and it would automatically restart your node server accordingly so this would make your life a lot of easier you won't have to touch terminals for a while when you are just creating some node code and yeah that's pretty much it what this would do so yeah so as you can see this is installed now and all right so it says me that it should be installed with G well we could just go ahead and do that as well so yeah sorry for guys for missing this flag you can just go ahead and just make it global as well yeah so this shouldn't take a lot of time uh, let's just wait let's just count to 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and well that was embarrassing so here you go in 5 for 3 to 5 for 3 to 1 yeah so whoa what the heck the Xcode build command requires you to command line delivery. Blah, 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 blah. No, not now. All right. So once you're done with that, just write or let's just get some code ready first. And why the heck is this always right there? So script 20 is blank as well. All right. Nice. Well, let's just copy script 21 into script 22 and get rid of this just need a basic application to work with <clears throat> and this should be good enough for us to start now go to your terminal right clear nodemon script22.js hit enter all right so now you can see that it shows us a bunch of messages watching star dot star to restart at any time enter rs well this is for a manual restart but you won't probably need that so if I just go to my browser hit reload as you can see it shows me wow and if I do do like wow again no server restart yeah and I directly go to browser and reload wow you can see that there's no server restart required so if you can if you just see in your terminal as you can see 
it automatically says that restarting due to changes, restarting due to changes, and all that stuff. So that's just gonna just make your life a bit easy. So that, yeah, so that's all for this one, and I'll see you then real soon in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe, and thank you for watching.